Uh, welcome. My name is Torb Lustad. I'm the game director for Hitman Absolution. And beside me, I have uh, Travis Barber from the community team at IO Interactive. And we are having a look at contract mode uh, this time, which is the new online mode for Hitman Absolution. The contracts mode was inspired by the way that the community was using the old games in the Hitman franchise to create kind of new alternative hits on characters within the game. So uh, we were using that as a starting point for actually creating what we call contracts, which is basically asking the simple question of what would happen if any character within the game could be a target? And we kind of took it from there. Find the lights. Yeah, this section of the game takes place in a, in a dark and rainy Chicago where Agent 47 is on the run from the Chicago PD. One of the things we got a lot of feedback on after the first time showing this level was actually the little story that goes on between Fasano, the, the rookie officer, and the, the sergeant. And a lot of people were asking us why we had to kill Fasano. They, would, they were saying they would have kept him alive, but uh, we actually killed him. Um, and they suggested that we should kill the sergeant instead, almost like a, as a revenge for uh, Fasano. So, that sounds like a pretty good uh, sort of contract to set up, so that's what we're going to show here. We're going to actually try and take down the sergeant. Yeah, basically the Sergeant Meyer, as his name is, turned out he is a pretty good and interesting target within this uh, part of the game. So he was a very natural part of, uh, of what we call featured contracts, which we have in every section of the game. There's a door here marked at the exit, which is a different one from the story. So essentially this means that a section that was uh, simply an, like an A to B uh, section within the game where you had to get past all these officers that were looking for 47, now there's a hit. And every other uh, condition of the level is still in place. There's, the officers are still looking for us as uh, 1847. But now the added challenge is to take down Sergeant Meyer Anything we learned from playing through this level in story mode is something we can use in contracts as well. Knowing how the NPCs are, are kind of uh, positioning themselves, how their patrols are, these are all things that you can use to your advantage. The basic premise for a contract is that you take down your mark, you escape the scene, and uh, then you'll get paid. And on top of that, there is a number of bonus conditions that uh, the creator of the contract can, uh, can set up. And uh, for this particular contract, there is a stipulation that you should be unseen, which uh, makes it quite a lot uh, more difficult to kind of maneuver through this area, especially since our target, uh, the Sergeant Meyer, he is standing in the middle of the room, surrounded by his uh, kind of subordinates. So it's, it's a pretty daunting contract to kind of pull off. Uh, one of the other conditions is also that the sergeant needs to be taken out with an elimination, which means we need to get really close, really, really close to him. And as you said, he's surrounded by a lot of people. So that's an, something else that makes it quite difficult. No one's going to die. Over here, I've been told this guy is highly trained. He's not going to be waltzing in through any of the doors. We got to cover the upper areas too. We're already on it. That's good. All right, we got the east and west wing covered, but he can still get through here. Do we have enough goddamn men? Yeah, well, we got the night crew talking. Ha! Your turn. Yes, my liege. Hey! As so here you can see, we have a small window of opportunity where the sergeant was uh, unguarded, which uh, we took advantage of, and trying to get out without being spotted here. You can see there's lots of attention of, on 
on us. But it's still possible to get out. They're probably gonna find his body pretty soon if they didn't do it already. Which makes things a little more difficult and delicate. As the AI, the patterns of the AI is something that you as a player of course has a lot of opportunities to tamper with. But the moment they go into like hunt mode or if they, when they know something really bad is happening, the way that they react is not really predictable in the way that you don't know where they will go and if they send out search parties after you it actually gets pretty difficult to uh, predict whatever the AI is up to. We should earn uh, a pretty big payoff here and we managed to do it in 47 seconds as well which is always a nice touch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a different section of the level that we first showed and create the contract and then show you how these contracts are actually made. So one thing that we did with contracts was actually having uh, the creator play the game as he creates the contract and this kind of play to create mode as we call it is something that we did to avoid having a, you could say, a cumbersome editor or a, or kind of a god mode or something. Yeah, as you see here now, I'm creating contract while playing it. And as you can see, it looks very much like the game does in story mode, except that in the corner up, uh, in the upper right corner, there's a, what we call a target tracker. And uh, within the world, you can see there's this little mark that you can uh, add to uh, NPCs. If you mark an NPC, you can cre you can make you're making him a target. If you then kill him, then the game will record which way you killed him, with which weapon, and in which disguise, and if you're you're seen or loud, whatever, and uh, will kind of store that within the data. Uh, Mr. Dean Fenner here is not a very interesting target, though he is more kind of like a sad guy. <laughs> so we'll kind of try to find another target, uh, move further into the Shangri-La here. Well, well, talk about pupil dilation. You little farmer boys are way up Shit's Creek. <laughs> you know that, don't you? Well, <laughs> please, bro, come on, man. I mean, I mean we, we didn't mean any harm. It's just medicinal. Medicinal? You got a freaking ecosystem in here. You think something like this would just go unnoticed? And here you can see we're in a in an area that looks far more interesting. Lots of things going on, lots of characters moving around. And... Uh, much better way of uh, much much better place finding a target. Uh, I guess uh, we should do a search. You know what I mean? A thorough, thorough search. Ah, oh, come on! Is it is it really necessary? These guys had like twenty gram in each pocket. Why would they feel the need to go prison style? Hey, that's just procedure. Got to go by the book, right? <laughs> So go get your latex gloves. And we'll select a knife to kill this guy instead of just taking him down with the silver ballers because we want it to be more up close and personal. And uh, you can also choose, as you can see here, we could choose to end the contract in this window, but uh, it is still not a very big contract. We would like to add a little bit more to it. We see we still have room for two more targets, so we'll try to move a little bit further into Shangri-La to find another opportunity. Back for the for domestic disturbance, right? And the landlord was complaining that the building smelled like pine trees. <laughs> I guess we know now why. So you've picked up the hammer here, um, and is that for a, a weapon or a distraction? Or? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I mean, often when you when you create a contract, you kind of be more mindful about how you play through the level, and uh, you might do some things that you wouldn't have thought of yourself, just uh, I'd say on the fly, and finding out what you can use it for. So the hammer here, for instance, we can use it as a distraction uh, to lure this target in um, to a specific place to kill him. Hey, anyone seen a combination for the safe? Hey, Ma, I heard something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where did that come from, huh? 
I'll, I'll take a look. Yeah, so now we just need to get out of here. Um, we know there's a, I know there's an exit down here uh, by the elevator, and it's uh, heavily guarded by the police. In a fight, right? He walks to the hospital by himself. <laughs> Look, it gets better. Guy walks up to the front desk, and the nurse starts screaming. Turns out there's a small axe stuck in his head. Oh no shit! I could just choose to gun these. Uh, officers down but that would also become a part of my contract and I don't want to do that I want this to be slightly more challenging extremely dangerous all right so here we can see the elevator down at the far end oh we still don't want to tamper anymore with the AI here we want to kind of get past this unseen and uh, without them even knowing we were here Well, it looks like these uh, hippies have a have a discotheque here, and setting off the disco will also cause a distraction, drawing the police away from the exit. And uh, we can see as we do that, they're now being drawn into the room, and we have a clean getaway to the elevator. Oh, who cares, man? I love this tool. Hey, uh, you wanna what? You know? Oh, yeah. Why the hell not? Right? They'll call if they need us. So that's the end of the contract, and uh, there's two targets. There is uh, the conditions of how they were killed, which disguise was used, and since this was a pretty, you could say, I, I played through this contract pretty well, there's a lot of different conditions set on this, so this creates a quite challenging contract. And now we'll see Travis try to play through it. <laughs> yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually change up my disguise, which should give me a benefit of getting through the contract a little bit quicker. It's also going to mean that I might not get the full payoff because the conditions that were set meant that I had to use a Agent 47 suit, which of course I now don't have access to. This is the police. Oh shit, man! It's the buzz. We're so close. Oh, fucking pigs! Bro, dude, calm down. Maybe they just want to chill. You know? They don't want to chill. No one wants to chill. Come on, come on, flush you piece of shit, toilet. Man, I say we take him, like Butch Cassidy in the. Well, Sunday. well. Talk about pupil dilation. You little farmer boys are way up Shit's Creek. <laughs> you know that, don't you? So you can straight away see the benefit of using the police officer disguise. I can sneak through this area a little bit quicker using my blend in. Yeah, time is actually also a factor in contracts, but it only starts ticking from the first target is killed. Uh, yes, uh, we It was funny. I got a call to this floor.
Well, this guy's actually trying to get this safe open. He's asking if there's a combination. He's gone off to see if the other officers know where it is. So I'm going to go over there and grab the combination to the safe, which is saved in this notebook. I'm going to open up the safe and um, see if I can use what's inside. So I've just triggered the radio to get the uh, officer back inside and of course I've uh, armed the explosives in the safe so I'm kind of setting up here something that's not too uh, difficult to guess but let's see how it plays out. Shit. What have we here? Hey guys, get a load of this! Rather than use the disco, I've managed to use the AI to, to make him call the other officers away from the door so I have, I have the clean getaway now but I still have to take out the target. Um, so again, I'm not going to be using the, the same weapon so I'll, and all the same disguise, so I'll lose some points there for not meeting the conditions, but... It does look more spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still going on. It's still going on, yeah. I'm moving in. All right, so that was a quick look at contracts mode from uh, Hitman Absolution. And uh, we're hoping that when you guys in the community get the hand on this, then it will kind of create magic. We'll <laughs> see some new stuff popping up in the game that we never uh, kind of imagined from the development team. Yeah, that's definitely what we're looking forward to the most, seeing the sort of crazy and inventive things that you guys can <laughs> come up with. Thanks for taking the time to watch this whole video all the way through. And we'll see you on November 20th for Hitman Absolution.